All right. So it's been, I think since the first time I was up here about two weeks and there's footage of the snow coming down when I was up here last week, but the amount of melt, because it's been pretty warm, is just insane. I'm amazed at how much snow the snowpack in front of me, in front of the car that I'm parking in, was like above my car. And now you can see what it looks like. Um, it's insane how much snow melts, how quickly. So it's gonna be kind of interesting, but we'll see what we can do today. Okay, the trail I took, I was planning on going up the other peak on the other side, but the sun is just making the route way too, uh, uh, sweat there, um, way too mushy. So I'm going over to the right, up to Guy Peak, where the trail is in the shade. I'll have a better traction and everything. Should be just right up there. And uh, we'll get a nice little view, Rainier, around. So let's see how long it takes. here to technically I think maybe the other little hump over there might be the summit but it's sketchy getting over there I'm gonna do it by myself so relax get some food and then head back down but it's nice beautiful nothing but fun um, my original idea of on the steep sections having to rope a tree and then rappel down I didn't need to do that uh, with the two axes and sticking to it maybe a different trail with the trees uh, the danger wasn't as much so I was able to do it it was good basically we went I'll show you we went from right over here across this way 
up, 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 and then over, 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 over there, up to that little peak over there. Um, so that's where we went, Guy Peak. Now, let's get back and uh, see what the family's doing. All right, so I have had to edit today's video of Jason hiking um, because I needed to know what the sequence of events were. When you have GoPro footage and the drone footage and my, his camera footage, it doesn't all sync it in time order like my camera does. My camera will tell me um, everything in date and time order and it'll sync it all at the same time. But his doesn't when you have all those different p sources of media. Sorry, someone's trying to call me. Now it's going to like trigger my computer anyway and so I have to have him here with me while I'm editing this kind of video so that he can help me like splice it all together <laughs> and I had stuck in that oh my gosh stop calling answer that call please it's the girls friends facetiming anyway I left that little burp in there <laughs> so he's been sitting here watching me edit and whatnot and um, he's like, why are you leaving that in there? And I'm like, because it's funny. Anyway, we literally have done nothing but the two of us sitting at this computer. Like, he's been with me. We've been going through the footage. And literally, like, every kind of... Oh, sorry. Sorry, this girl's... Okay. She's still on a call. She's been the bane of our existence today. Her and Chelsea are having a hard time. So, tomorrow... We are switching their desks and yes I know we only have a few more weeks of school left but that's <laughs> that doesn't really matter because it's still a problem um, anyway but also like like things are being scheduled and I have my appointment with my endocrinologist and I had to check in with that appointment and it's like oh my gosh every time I turned around to like reset a password or fill out a survey, I got like 10 more things to do on the computer or my phone. And so then the kids had fights and anyway, where did this laundry come from? You mm -hmm. just pulled this out? Yeah. All right, so okay, I can't, can we f deal with this so that I can put another load in while we go? Deal with it as in fold it? Or just put chuck it up there? Cause I, I've got to get to the cobbler before they close, so. Um, so you want to go? I would rather go. I okay. can help with this later. Okay, can we just... I know it bugs you. I know it bugs I can, me I so bad. Stage. But can we get another load? Okay, yeah, fine. We can okay, okay. Uh, this is done? Yeah. That's our sheets. You okay, maybe we'll just go. Out. I'm starving. So let's just go. Too. Let's yeah. just go. Let's just go then. All right. So, kind of not really had it with our kids. But we've had it with her kids and had it with being at home. <laughs> so we came alone to Red Robin. <laughs> I didn't really want a fancy dinner. I just want some a good Coke and fries and burger or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll get fish. Yeah, I got to get my mask out here in the United States. Things are about to change with the whole mask situation. We're not going to go into that here, but I'm just in the mood to not be with our children. Kind of to be with him. <laughs> she loves yelling at me. You just didn't. All these spots. Look, that literally says parking. I he wouldn't park. It used no, no, to, no, it no, used no, no, no. Be the pickup. I know, but he pulled in and he's like, "Oh, I can't park here. I can't park here. I can't park here." And all of these spots are open. And he drove past all of them. And there's literally parking all around here. All right, we gotta be careful because of the music playing, but you like it? I mean, it's just gonna be my, what I eat now. Yeah, it's a teriyaki burger, but it has pineapple and teriyaki and chicken. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we had to go and get Kaylee. Oh, you can't even see me. Had to go get Kaylee and all of her friends from uh, Target right after we got finished eating. And literally every single one of them is either in driving school just got their license or needs to take the test like next week and so they're <laughs> so critical do you i mean like everything like, like 100 yards got to turn your signal 100 yards before oh 
You didn't look at your uh, mirror to see if there's a biker there. Did you like, do a double look? I don't need to look because I know there's not a biker there because I drove up on it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could see for a mile down the road there's no biker. But we basically had like six backseat drivers, quite literally like correcting him and critiquing every little move he made. It was funny. Yeah, it was really funny. All right, we're at Lowe's. We're trying to find flowers. Tried to find a light, but that didn't work out. All right, here are the flowers that we got at Lowe's. This one, no, not this one. So I've kind of got them separated up. All right, so each of these will have the big tall one in the middle, and then the pink ones, and then the spillers, and then these little guys. And then these ones are gonna be divided up between, oh no, actually, this one goes over here. So they each have two different colors of blue, two colors of the pink and then this purple one in the middle I'm gonna split there's six of them there so I'm gonna put three each on each end and I think it'll be kind of cute these are the pots that I got from the dollar store and since there's one extra I might repot like one of these I don't know cuz these ones, Jason said I'm a, a pot lady now like a flower pot lady now and I have like all different kinds also, I think I've officially killed my succulents. They didn't like not having sunshine. So, I put them out here today to get some sunshine. <laughs> I tell you guys, I can't keep plants alive. Also, this pot doesn't have anything in it. These are all weeds. So, there's nothing growing in here. So, I might just get rid of that one altogether. Here's the kids' rock collection. They need to finish painting these guys. Maybe I'll give the kids that job to do on Sunday. And then I put sand in here. This is our little fairy garden. My f ooh, ooh, gross. <laughs> That's gross. You see that little bug right there? I nearly touched that. Anyway, my father-in-law gave us some sand, and so I just kind of put it into the fairy garden. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. So I think that's about it for the day. I'm gonna go and shower, clean up for the night, make a bowl of popcorn and chill. Jason's in the shower. Ashley just got out. Chelsea just got out. <sighs> Calling it a day. So I think it was a good day. Good day. Jason had fun on his hike. He was a much happier man. I know people get worried when he does this kind of stuff. Motorcycle. I know people get worried when he does this kind of motorcycle. I know people get worried when he does these kinds of hiking and climbs and stuff. Okay, now that that motorcycle is out of the neighborhood, not making noise and interrupting me, um, I know a lot of people worry about him hiking, and I do too. I worry about it every time he goes out, but I also know he's kind of really good at what he does, and he's pretty safe with it. Who's there? Chelsea? Oh, I'm yeah, I am talking to somebody. Like a person. <laughs> like an actual person. Yeah. No, nope. how you doing? Good. Just about to go upstairs. Yeah, you play until you crash. Well, I just go until I have to go outside. Yes, until so everyone has gone from the park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are still quite a few people there. They were like Pokemon trading, and then yeah. we all played all the most. Yeah. Good. You ate dinner? Yep. So is it time to wind down and go to bed? Okay. Go brush your teeth if you're done eating. Okay. Clean up your dinner. Okay. Unload. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I totally forgot. Again, I literally just told her to unload before I came out here and showed you guys the flowers. That's how fast children forget to obey their parents. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, worrying about Jason hiking. He's been doing this like the entire 20... There's the car. That was weird. Hang on. He's been climbing and hiking before I even met him. 
maybe right around the time I met him, he started doing more climbing and mountaineering when we met at Utah State um, while we were in college. So he's been doing that for 24 years plus. And so I just, he's well trained on it. He knows how to do it. People ask him to go with them to help them do be safer on hikes. So um, I just, I trust him. And he knows like last week when not to go and when it's safe to go. So I trust him to make those decisions and usually he's pretty right. So anyway, I'm glad he had fun because he really is a happier man. <laughs> he was so grumpy last Saturday when he didn't get to go. Like literally so grumpy. It doesn't show too much on the camera because I don't pick it up and put it on him when he's grumpy like that. So this is why I let him go because he's less grumpy. So I'm gonna sign off. Um, tune in tomorrow, I will plant all those flowers and show you those. I'm gonna put them out front um, so they get a lot of sunlight. But tomorrow, Abby gets her first COVID test. She's 13, almost 14. So she's now eligible. And we're gonna see if she passes out <laughs> with this vaccine. Let's pray she doesn't. Take care, see you next time.